and welcome back to Gapy's Garden. Today we're going to take a look at the peppers we have outside of the greenhouse. And we've had a very mild summer so far. We did have some really nice temperatures this week, but otherwise it's been pretty mild, kind of wet and rainy. So let's see what we have here. So these peppers are the, the Numex varieties for the most part, and they've been getting attacked by some bugs, but I'm not sure from what but I do see a lot of holes in some of the leaves, so I'm not sure what's getting at them. Um, I did put some slug bait down a while ago in case it was slugs, and it does seem to be getting a little better, but it's still kind of not great. But we'll see how they do over the coming weeks. I have harvested some peppers off of several of these. The first one is the Cajun Bell here. And I've got another ripe one that's almost ripe. There's a little bit of green on the top, but I did harvest one, I think it was just a couple days ago. And I was told that these have a little bit of heat, but I didn't get any heat at all on the one that I harvested. So we'll see. I kind of didn't want heat, so that's, that's a good thing. Um, and then next to that, I've got the orange spice jalapeno. And I haven't grown any of these varieties before, so these are all new to me. So this one has, I think, only one pod set so far, and it's right there. It's looking pretty round, so I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to look like. But so far, it's a pretty round-looking pepper. I don't think there's any more hiding in there, so not very productive so far. And then behind that, we've got the Pasilla pepper. And I think I did harvest some of these a while ago, um, but I don't see any more set on it. And I harvested them when they were green because they were so long they were actually touching the ground. And they were starting to get soft on the end, so I went ahead and picked those. And I'm not seeing any more on that one, so hopefully it will produce some more. And then in here we've got the... Espanola, and I did actually just harvest a couple, I think three pods off of that one the other day, and they were very, very tiny. I think a lot smaller than they're supposed to be. And here's another one that's about ready to pick, and that's really small too. I think we've got another one back here that's a little bit bigger size, so that's, I think, more closely what it should look like, or at least a lot bigger. So hopefully we get some more that size. Okay, over here we've got the Estacino, and that one, I haven't harvested any of that one, but I do see a nice size pod back there, and actually a couple more nice size pods here. But the plant is so short that these are both touching the ground, and so far they're, they're not turning soft, and actually this one is starting to turn red. So I think you're supposed to harvest them when they're green, but I'll have to double check on that. I think that's a good one for making a green hot sauce or green salsa, so I might pick those here pretty soon. And then the last one over in this bed is the Chimeo, which is another New Mex variety that I think you can harvest either when it's green or red. But I haven't... Oh, we got another bunny. I think I showed a bunny in my previous... one of my previous updates, and we've got a white bunny in the yard now, and it's a big guy. So anyways, we were back here. So we've got this one turning red, and then we've got a few more that are still green. So I may harvest some of these too and make a green salsa out of some of those peppers. So those are the only six I have in this bed. Let's go take a look at some more peppers. And maybe we'll chase a bunny. In case you're wondering, yes, the bunny has been eating my garden but he seems to stick to eating the lettuces and the carrots, which I have. All the carrots are caged now so that he can't eat them, but he does seem to like the weeds, which I don't mind. All right, so let's go walk back here, take a look at the peppers back here. So we've got, I moved the container peppers that were over by the greenhouse back here because these are, these are the South American wild varieties and they prefer a cooler temperature and I think it was getting too hot for them where they were at so I moved them up here against the fence where they get a little more afternoon shade. 
These two here on the end are the Tovaris, and they were the last ones to get any flowers. And it looks like the flowers are kind of a light yellow color, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure I've seen a solid yellow colored pepper flower before, but all of these wild peppers are very, very small pods. And hopefully we'll see some pods set on that one soon. And then over here we've got the Cardenassi, and that one is the tallest of all of them. That's probably around four feet right now, maybe a little bit taller than that. And we do have some pods starting to set on this one. Let me see if I could find them. So we've got a little guy here. I think I saw some bigger ones. They're really hard to see because these are such small. Oh, here, here's some good size ones. And I say good size because that's about as big as it's gonna get. So we should see that ripening up here pretty soon, I think. And then the other wild one that I have is the Flexuosum. And we actually have some pods ripening up on these two. So these are the most compact ones, and I think they're the prettiest. They're nice and bushy and short, which I kind of like. Uh, let's see if we could find those ripening up ones. So let's see. And these are, these are probably the tiniest peppers of the three wild ones that I'm growing. So this one, I forget what the name, the term is, but these are, this one is actually ripening. You can see how tiny it is. Um, but there are no seeds in the ones that it's putting out right now. So they should get a little bit bigger once they start setting seeds, but I'm told that some of the earlier fruits may be seedless, and it looks like that's the case here. So we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully it produces some bigger ones. And then in this bed, I've got two of the mini olive ricotto peppers, and we've got a few pods set, and they're getting pretty good size. So this is about how big they're supposed to get. So I'm expecting these to start ripening up here pretty soon, but they do get an olive color and they actually look like little olives, which is pretty neat. And they're supposed to be really tasty too. Okay, there is only, I think, one more pepper that I wanted to show you. So we'll go back here and show you those. So there's two peppers, but they're kind of the same variety. These are the pepper crosses that I made last year between the Korean gochu and the lemon drop. And we've got some pods forming. So we've got, they're kind of look more like the lemon drop on this one, but this one here is more productive. This one is the seeds I saved from the lemon, lemon drop pepper. And then this other one are seeds that I saved from the gochu pepper. And this one is actually looking, it is dropping quite a few flowers. Um, but I do have a couple of, or at least one pod set on this one, but I found it interesting because this is putting out a purple pod, at least the part that's facing the sun is purple. But if you look on the other side of this pod, it's green. And neither of the two crosses that, or neither of the two peppers that I used to make the cross have purple pods. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So we'll have to see how these do. And actually this one over here has a little bit of purple tint to it, not too much. Um, but I'm excited to see how those come out and I'll be sure to share with you once I pick those. So those are all the peppers that I have outside of the greenhouse. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.